Morning folks. This is the top part. This is the lid to the ceramic container that Mitchell's Wolf had came in when I bought this one here a while back. Um, as you can tell by the date right here, it's been around for a good long moment. Um, as it goes for the scent of the soap, I don't find, I, I would call it naturally occurring. There's not anything added to it to give it any kind of scent. Um, that's what it looks like there in the container. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you can get the refill if you just want the the soap itself without the container. But uh, I decided I'd take the container too. And and uh, anyway, it's a it's kind of a novel type thing, I guess you might say. Anyway, I got it whipped up here with a uh, horsehair brush from Belong. Uh, this white hair. I think it's like a twenty one millimeter knot. Uh, like I say. I don't pick up, a, it's just the naturally occurring scent. I don't pick up anything special or, you know, in other words, a, a scent that's been added to it. And um, the side I was going to follow up, I mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, I had to order this. In other words, I was never able to find it actually in a store, at least not here locally. Um, at least when I <laughs> go into the store. Anyhow, this is Nivea from Mendes Deep, and this one here is a vanilla and uh, bourbon scent. Now this scent is uh, is not a really strong scent. It's present. You can definitely smell it. I would maybe on the medium or the bottom end of medium on the scent strength. Uh, my nose picks it up. My wife uh, was not happy with the scent strength. She likes them a bit stronger. But anyhow, this one here would be a good one to use when you're going to be using a cologne later on in the day. Shaver of the day it has a blade. This is what a crystal blade looks like when it uh, comes in a pack like this. Uh, it is a uh, platinum blade and uh, got it in a Blackland Blackbird. Now this is the standard length handle. This is not the long handle. I'll have a link down below if you want to check all this, uh, this out. But this is what it looks like. I've had my eye on this for a good long moment for a few years. <laughs> I mean a good long moment. And finally decided to go ahead and get one. I got a Blackland Dart that shaves, um, uh, I guess you might say, on the upper end of medium, if not on the scale of uh, maybe even on the bottom end of aggressive. It's a, a, it's a really nice shaver. I enjoy my shaves with it. Very efficient. Um, this will be the first time using this one here. We'll see what, what kind of shaves I get with this one here. I wanted to put a hot towel to face this morning, and uh, pre shaveable this morning was uh, from um, Art of Shaving. I used a couple of squirts and put some on my face and let it uh, work it in off camera before I get started. But uh, kind of anxious to see how this all works out because the uh, Blackland Dart, I've never, I mean, I've used the Blackland Dart, but I've not used the uh, Blackbird before. This particular style of brush you can probably find at maggots i just left a comment for rusty uh it's got a pretty it's sizable loft to it it's easy to paint with and i had no problems getting it to lather up the mitchell's wolf fat mitchell's wolf fat for me has never been that tough to lather i know some folks have mentioned in the past about having difficulties uh, lathering it but for me it <laughs> it was pretty quick. Like I say, uh, the scent is, is just whatever is naturally occurring. So I feel like it would work well with whatever aftershave or cologne that you plan on using. With my nose, I don't think it ever interfere, even if it did have a scent to it. But this uh, this razor, I have had my eye on it ever since they started. I mean, I've had, a, I've been following them for a good long moment. Well made. This is the machine version. This is not the polished version. I guess I should throw that out there too. Um, it looks pretty nice to me, just the way that it is. Uh, they have a pretty good selection, in my opinion, when it comes to these kind of razors. Get the standard length handle like this one here. Get a long one. 
think I remember seeing a blurb about um, uh, coming back with the titanium. <laughs> this one here, it shaves pretty nice. I don't find this as, a, believe it or not, my shave is smoother with this one so far versus the dart. This one here seems to be smoother. Doesn't feel quite as aggressive. Shave feels pretty nice. Um, <laughs> I think I waited way too long <laughs> to get one of these. But this shave is going to go. It's going pretty good. A, a definitely a stark contrast price wise in between a wee sheath in my last video, and then you got this one. <laughs> Price difference is quite a bit. I uh, think the everyday going price for a racer like this is around the $200 mark. If you wait for like a Black Friday sale or go to buy, sell, trade, or somebody decide that maybe it wasn't quite for them, have a hard time imagining it, but I guess it is possible. It's working out quite well for me, but I like these kind of razors that have some weight behind them. Match it up with a blade that works well for you. Guide it across your face. Don't put a whole lot of pressure to it. Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to end up with a rough shave. For me, when it comes to these kind of shavers, the... Um, uh, ones that have some weight in behind them just so easy for me to use it just seems to come naturally there's not much left on my face in other words second pass if I adjusted some of the strokes going different directions the shave would already been done it's pretty efficient there's not a whole lot left got a little bit right through here that's about it my cheeks are very smooth already really like like I say this is the second one I'm quite happy with both of these razors blackbird and the dart darts no longer available so if you didn't jump in on one of those I say buy sell trade but I uh I was lucky enough to get it but right before they stopped selling them decided to start with the dart and uh, like I say, I'm quite happy with the build. We're talking about razors that will last you your lifetime going into the next. Razors like this, you have to look at them a little bit differently. You know, like you would a Wishi. This kind of razor is a razor that... uh might look at it as an investment. It's not one you're going to get rid of anytime soon. And since it's a, what I would consider a lifetime type razor, um, stop and think. In other words, okay, so the going price nowadays is $200, and you spread that over, what, the next, what, 30, 40 years, whatever the length of time might be. Uh, that in other words, your life expectancy, however you want to look at it, and you spread that out over that length of time that it's going to last you, um, it definitely, it's, it's a buy. It's just that initial cost, I know it's a, quite a sticker shock, so you're going to have to, like I did when I was in high school, save up your lunch money for your albums. <laughs> in this case, it's going to be for a razor. Back in the day, <clears throat> when I was uh, uh, in high school, saving up the uh, some lunch money for albums back then when we lived on uh, uh, Air Force Base. Uh, go to the uh, base exchange there, the BX, and uh, pick up an album for $4.50 back in the day. Yeah, that was back in the good old days. I mean, picking up those at that price was... Definitely cheap, very inexpensive. 
But once you start spreading out the cost of that uh, that razor over the number of years uh, and how long it's going to it's going to last you the rest of your life and going into the next lifetime, something that could be passed on from generation to generation. You start looking at it like that, it's it's a it's a good buy. I know I like to say initially those those uh that sticker shock is takes a moment to get through it, but once you do and realize that you know, like I say, if this is the only razor you use the rest of your life, it's a good buy. Fantastic. Wow, that was a great shave. I tell you what, no stinging. It's it is it's a it's a really nice shaver. That is, I was expecting a good shave, but not quite that. Uh, I guess you might say smooth. I was expecting a little bit more of a blade feel, and I didn't pick that up with this razor. Now the Blackland Dart, if you haven't had a chance to use it, the Dart has more blade feel in my opinion. Um, it's a bit more edgy. Uh, this one here, a pretty smooth shave. Yeah. Big difference in between the two. All right, Nivea for men. I'll have a link down below if you want to check this out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once again, that's what the restrictor looks like there. To me, the scent is pretty nice. Vanilla, bourbon. It's not overpowering by any means. It is definitely present. It's the first time using this too, so I don't know how long the scent will last especially with my nose but I can smell it right now so that's a good sign at least for my nose working well that is a pretty nice scent. oh as it goes for price um, five and a half bucks I think is what I paid for it uh, the the lid is how can you say there's it's just a quarter turn and as it goes for inside I don't know if the camera will pick that up there's a post right there in the center of the cap that goes down into the restrictor to help keep uh, the goodness where it should be. <laughs> Stand inside until it's ready to come out. My nose is still picking a really nice scent. I saw vanilla and bourbon thought I gotta try it. <laughs> anyway, I had a great shave this morning. Hope everybody's doing well, especially on a Wednesday. Making it through that work week, aren't we? Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shaves to you.